He's playing right up on top of Ethan Boyle at the minute. He's playing like almost like an out and out winger. Well patching, oh great oh. shot there. I think it was uh, Maddie Smith. Smith Wolf yeah. Smith. Wolf, Wolf patching laying it off the Scottish man and Smith just going to the right of of uh, Mark Anthony McGinley's post. There he's in it now. Regan Donlan, big Rob Slevens up there. Ethan Boyle is there. That's a goal for Finn Harps! What a goal! That's the debut hunt! It's the striker and it's Rob Jones. What an important goal that may turn out to be. It's Finn Harps 1, it's Derry City now, 31 minutes to clock. Leave to that threat so far. Patrick McElhinney, Smith, Ethan Boyle. Oh, what's oh, a free uh, kick in a dangerous position, and from my eyes, it, it seems soft decision, Joe. Well, it's on the, it's verging on the soft side. I think Matty Smith's touch is t it's a poor touch. It's just taking him across Ethan Boyle, and uh, you know he's he's used his experience that if he's good enough to put it in, which will patching is, and there is a space well, there. Patching for with him. the right foot effort, and it goes over the crossbar, no problem on this occasion for Mark Anthony McGinley. Finn Park, he certainly knew what Mark was about from his time at Trialoha. Good ball is required now from Rob Slevin. By McNamee is there. Scottish lad, central defender Nicholson. As Rainey there, he sends one into Zaye and is headed just over the crossbar. And one would think that's the last chance for Finn Hobbs in the first half. Yeah, that's better play. Good ball in from Nicholson there. You know, he picks out. Uh, Ryan Rainey on the far side but just unfortunately and Zay's not not as uh, proficient with his header as big big Rob Slevin was there and he's just put it over the bar Ups the ball in good ball in and it's over the Mark Anthony McGinley's crossbar Graydon that was oh. danger that was dangerous and it wasn't too far away from yeah, this he's point. yeah he's in the middle of the box here and there's nobody picking him up when you look at the setup again he's in the middle of the box and there's a free dairy man once this ball comes in there's nobody picking him up and he's in the middle of the goals Mark and again it's just gone over the bar out to Dominican only falls as far as good ball now to Graydon the new sign in that wall patching it goes down rather easy no way is it a penalty and it's a yellow card yellow card for, for Patrick City. yellow card for Patrick McElhinney Patrick McElhinney is a yellow card that's Derry City's first yellow card and uh, good, good, good referee in that occasion Joe yeah and Derek Tomney was very very quick on the spot and he was taking taking none of that and again uh, very very sharp and up, upward play so good decision by the referee Not good news if Finhouse that Joe. Certainly not, no. And again the the <laughs> midweek midweek wo woes uh, coming back. Patrick McLeary, what a strike and what a save. Mark Anthony McGinley equal to the brilliance of Patrick McLeary's effort. Right foot effort from Patrick McLeary. And what a save by Mark Anthony McGinley to corner ah. the Derry, Joe. Ollie Hogan said one, Derry said a nil. But the kick out is McGinley. Philip Mihalovic is there. Diallo for Derry. Patching. Pops a lovely ball to the Derry City substitute. It's one on one against Ethan Boyle. Back to Diallo, the new signing for Derry. And it's great for the defending there. Again, that man, Connor Tourish. Oh, that's two brilliant blocks in a row there from Connor. He's done really, really well. Ryan Green. Oh, Mihalovic has got to hold on to the ball there and give his defenders a moment to get set. Kieran Call. That's been possession wise, I'd love to see the stats because it's been all Derry in the second half. Good long ball up forward to the Derry man. Ethan Boyd's there for company. Kieran Gallows there. And it's a goal for Derry City. It's a goal, it's an equaliser for Derry City. Yeah, it's and it's crazy. a new sign, and he's been causing Oli Horkinson problems since his introduction in the second half. Ryan Green in the 79th minute. Uh, it's Finn Harps 1, that's Derry City 1. They've really got to be careful now as we go into the 93rd minute. This is this is probably the only way Derry are going to cut them open because from open play they haven't been able to do it. Good ball and who's there? Akatundi is there. Is that James Akatundi or is it? Yeah, it's Akatundi, yeah. Akatundi, the substitute. James Akatundi. 92 minutes and 50 seconds on the clock. It's Derry City 2, it's Finn Harps 1. Referee blows the full time whistle. Victory 
for the Candy Stripes here in Fan Park. Another defeat for Fan Harps. And has ended. Fan Harps won Derry 72. A disappointing second half and more importantly a disappointing result.